And we're back with a quick small-scale bowling update. Um, I am prototyping the sweep. It's not exactly where I want it to be yet, at least uh, motion-wise. There's still a little bit of jerkiness to it, and part of that is because I'm trying to eliminate some binding up issues. Whenever you make some things out of wood um, and U-bolts uh, and, and, and things like that, there's, there's quite a bit of play, as uh, David had mentioned in some of his videos. I'm running into kind of the same thing. So uh, I purchased a welder uh, to, to try to weld some of these parts into uh, something that's a little bit more sturdy and hopefully that'll be coming here pretty soon um, over the next couple weeks. But um, I've started on a, a primitive uh, test rig that, that is uh, kind of like a chassis actually. Uh, I've, got a, I've got a breakout board with some buttons here just simulating switch events. Um, I've got a typical computer power supply that can give me the traditional 3.3, 5, and 12 volts in ground uh, through these wires out here which go to this uh, power distribution panel. This uh, panel is actually then connected to the output power panel. This output power, uh, I guess uh, terminal strip, is driven by this relay interface board. This uh, has eight relays on it I can use to drive whatever I want. Um, and then uh, we have the logic controller, which is actually just an Arduino, interfaced with the relay control board as well as the switchboard. Switchboard has the uh, reset functionality on it, has a power uh, functionality, uh, also has a button on there to change the color of the LED bar, which is on the pin deck. Um, the, uh, the relay interface board is controlling output power uh, for 12 volts DC to the motor cable, which actually runs along here to the other side where we find our uh, prototype sweep drive motor. I've just fashioned some uh, like angle mounting bracket basically to the uh, main uh, uh, deck guide tower uh, and then that connects to the sweep arms. Sweep arms go down and are connected to the main sweep board which is also connected to a track or a series of ball bearing drawer slides. Um, these are okay, they can kind of bind up uh, as the uh, ball bearings start stacking on top of one another whenever the, uh, whenever the drawer slide becomes uh, retracted. But uh, so far it's, it's working pretty well and the, the, the links actually connect to the sweep bar below the pivot point such that whenever the uh, arms are all the way forward it pushes the sweep back into the upward home position so the sweep can be driven off of one motor. Um, I don't have any deck switches or uh, sweep home sensing switches uh, hooked up yet, so I just have to use the um, the uh, manual sweep drive button on the uh, test rig here, or on the chassis, if you want to call it that. Uh, and let's do a test sweep here. I'll show you kind of how that works. And we'll hit the drive button. Sweep goes down into home, then the drive button. And then sweep can go back up. So that's roughly how that works. Um, we'll notice here that the, uh, again, I have to drive it by hand or at least by pushing that button, but uh, the motor's only running at about five volts. We may have to up that to about um, eight or nine uh, to get the sufficient drive power we need. Probably gonna have to update the uh, travel of the sweep. There are no gutter, uh, I guess, gutter scoops there. There are no gutter scoops there, so there's still some dead wood. And uh, we'll have to modify the travel so the sweep uh, runs farther back. Uh, you can see the, the pins in the back just kind of barely fell, but uh, work in progress. Uh, it's coming along. Um, as we refabricate and put more of these assemblies into steel, um, we'll really start seeing things really come together. But uh, you know, it's it's fun and uh, definitely a work in progress. Um, if you have any tips, uh, please let me know. Uh, Andy has uh, been nice enough to share with me um, his uh, wiring diagrams, at least with how he was able to get the wiper motor that I'm using to uh, dynamically break. And that'll definitely help me with the coasting issue. Uh, as you can see the sweep, if you uh, stop it, see it can kind of travel a little bit there. And then I'll actually try to stop it midway. You can see it kind of it kind of coasts a little bit, and uh, isn't necessarily ideal for uh, getting anything um, exact. So 
we'll get there. But uh, again, work in progress. Uh, more updates as they come.